Bossy, we head to uh, Super Saturday at Flemington this weekend and you get on the back of uh, Pewson's Saloon and the Blamey over 1600. Yeah, really looking forward to obviously getting on his back again. Um, just to maybe, just to really see his appearance really more than anything. Um, obviously we all know that he's got very good ability. So I'm just really, just can't wait to see him walk into the enclosure to see what physical um, physical changes he's made from the autumn to, the, I mean from the spring to the autumn. So um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. What's Darren said to you about uh, how, how he's going? Yeah, we're he's happy with him. Um, obviously, he goes into you know first up over a mile. He says obviously he's he's big in condition, obviously, but um, um, he's very happy with where he's at at the moment. And then members Joy over in the CUNY over fourteen hundred, but uh, just got pipped last time in the um, Armanasco. Yeah, she's racing well, struggling to win a race at the moment, but she's in that grade now, and she's obviously in a really tough race there with Norzita and alike. So, you know, she'll race honest again. Um, and she always does. She does everything. Everything she does is, is she does honest. Um, but she's just bumping into some very good uh, fillies at the moment. And then you've got Fontalina and uh, Anthony said uh, all things are going well and had a little hit out on um, the course proper at Flemington on Tuesday. He is um, low flying at the moment and I expect him to run very well on Saturday. He's, um, he had a really nice little trial down there on Tuesday. Where, as, you, as you mentioned, he felt, give me a great feel. Everything he's done with since he's been down here, I've been on his back for his gallops. He's just everything he's done with has been really good. So, um, his horse is probably way over the odds in the market, and I expect him to run very well. And would you say it's a pretty competitive field, obviously, with the likes of Black Caviar not being in there this year? It's it's a very good uh, addition this year. Um, you could obviously Moody's the key again, um, but there's several real really good chances in it, and. Um, even this, throw that horse from Queensland into the mix, you know, like he's been beating restricted open class horses in Brisbane. I don't know how you can line up that form against some of the better runs down here, but um, all I'm saying is my horse will run very well. And then you've got five and a half star in the Australian Cup, and uh, Dan said they uh, can't keep you off him at the moment. You're just loving it. Yeah, listen, he's had two runs down here, and he's made significant improvements since his second run, which I, which I fully expected. He, he's, he was big in condition first up. Second up, he was still a little bit soft. Um, and he's a horse, as you see through his last preparation, his profile changes. The more he does, the better he, he comes, and that's what he did last preparation. And since we've stepped his work up since that run at Caulfield here, he's just come on. So um, I'm expecting a really positive run from him in, in the Cup. And uh, do you reckon uh, you're best for Saturday? Oh, uh, you know, I think, obviously, um, I, I really like Fontalina. For some reason, I just, some, something about this also, what he's done with me this prep, since I've been on him, I'm expecting him to run a very forward race in the new market.